Would you please be my friend? Would you please be my friend? Would you please, please, please be my friend? Be my friend. Through the thick and the thin. Through the thick and the thin. Would you please, please, please be my friend? Be my friend. Through the good and the bad. When you're happy or sad. Would you please, please, please be my friend, be my friend Through the thick, thick, thick and the thin and the thin Would you please, please, please be my friend, be my friend Hey boys and girls, do you know about the solar system? You see, our planet is called Earth, and it's the only place we know where people, animals, and plants can live. Earth goes around the sun in a path called an orbit, and it takes one whole year to make the trip. We have one big moon that circles around us, and it even helps control the ocean's waves. Earth is in just the right spot. Not too hot, not too cold, so we can breathe the air, drink water, and grow food. That makes our planet very special, because out of all the planets, this is our home. And now, let's use our imagination to take a trip to see the amazing universe that we call outer space. Take a look in the sky. Let's dance. Mr. Don, you told us about Earth, but what about the other planets? Like, is there pizza on Mars? <laughs> Not pizza, TJ. Mars is red and rocky, and it's sometimes called the red planet. Whoa, what about Saturn? I heard it wears a giant hula hoop. Close, Saturn has beautiful rings made of ice and rock. 
Okay, then which planet is the biggest? It's gotta be bigger than my tummy after tacos. <laughs> that would be Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system. So we've got Earth, Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter. But aren't there more? You bet. Mercury zooms around the sun the fastest. Venus is super hot and bright. Uranus spins on its side, and Neptune is the windiest and furthest away. Whoa, that's eight whole planets. Now my brain is spinning in its orbit. <laughs> that's right, TJ. And there used to be a ninth planet called Pluto. Pluto? What happened? Did it fall out of space? <laughs> Not quite. Pluto is too small, and it didn't clear its orbit. Clear its orbit? What's that mean? Think of it like this. A big planet, like the ones we've already talked about, is something like a hallway monitor, making sure their whole hallway is clear. Pluto, on the other end, is more like a little kid, sharing the hallway with a bunch of others. But instead of hallways, we're talking about their orbits, the paths they travel around the sun. Oh, so Pluto's still part of the family, just not in the big kids club. Exactly. And speaking of moons and stars within our solar system family, that reminds me of a song. I know a place where moonlight glows. I know a place where starlight flows. I know a place and it's really, really far away. is our home and it's the only planet we know with people animals and plants all eight planets orbit around the sun each one different and special in its own way and even though pluto is now called a dwarf planet it's still a part of our solar system family i love you Angels 